I want to be defined by the things that I love, not the things I hate, not the things I'm afraid of. You always love. You can do it. of my memory in Vancouver. Before we hit the road, let's go to a cozy Vietnamese restaurant to try some muffin cuisine. Let me introduce to you guys my childhood breakfast a pyramid rice dumplings. The stuffing is really good. We also ordered some bún chả hàng bánh ướp chả giò và một chỉ bánh cuốn After breakfast, we walk to a store nearby and grab some bánh mì as our on the go snack We also buy some steam bao in comfort tea those stuffing is really good. Okay, let's get back to the car and start our journey to Whistler Village. We have plans to visit the city sky gondola and take the cable car to the hiking area at the top. But after a short discussion, we realized we might not have time to make it to Whistler before the sunset. So we decided to take a stroll around the nearby port area to enjoy the beautiful scenery here and the best part is it's completely free, you know, you don't have to pay anything to see the sparkly water, the clear blue sky, and the beautiful sunlight that really always puts our minds at ease when we look at them. And of course, we're taking some pictures to save our memories here. Oh my, I'm 
After approximately 40 minutes of off the road exploration, we finally head back to the road and continue our drive to the village. Oh my god, the view is absolutely stunning. I can't take my eye off the road, even I'm not the one who drives. Okay, we are here at the Whistler village. It actually took us a while to find the location of the Airbnb and we also have some trouble with the parking lot. So we check in the Airbnb in a very rush situation because we don't have much time to chasing the sun. So. You know, sometimes things come unexpectedly that we don't know how to prepare for. But I always try to stay positive and believe that the situation will improve or will get better. I will figure it out. If I can, I will seek help. Like when I was heading down the road to the lake like this, I had no idea what would happen, either good or bad. All I can do is believe that the wonderful things will happen and I try to move forward with that thinking in mind. Actually, we missed the sunset, seeing the sun has already gone behind the mountains. However, the atmosphere and landscape here are still worth a visit, you know. It's a lot of beautiful mountains and a vast lake. Speaking of the bad things, I accidentally dropped my camera battery into the lake. And I was about to go into the water to pick it up, but it was so chilly, and I didn't want to get wet at that point. So I look around and try to seek for help. And lucky me, a family with two girls in the swimsuit, they came to the deck. What a constant! And I just run to them, I ask for help, and they even encourage their daughter to help me pick up the battery under the water. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Thank you so much. <sighs> you can see it's so cold, and she tried to get familiar with the water temperature. Really, if you want me to get it. No, I'm here now. <laughs> you can see it's really not easy to locate the battery under the water. It's getting dark and you can see anything. But her parents were very supportive and gave her direction to get there. Now down, yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. You're there? Yeah, yeah. Close a little bit, yeah. Now go straight down there. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so close! <laughs> now you are, now yeah, you're yeah, perfectly right. on top of it. Okay, yeah, you, touch, you touched it with your toe. Yeah. What's that beside it though? <laughs> oh, no! no! Back a bit! Back a bit! Back a bit, no back! <laughs> <laughs> you can do it! To be honest, I truly admire their way of being. 
they see this event as challenge and they do their best to resolve it while still having fun in the process. The cool thing is they did it for the sake of helping me as a stranger, even if there no direct advantage for them. That's what I love about going outside and having a chance to interact with these beautiful souls. It reminds me of what makes this world worth living, not only by the nature, but also the beautiful people around me. And every act of kindness is a symphony of love. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. I can't describe how grateful I am in this situation. They are all stranger, but they try their best to help me. The sun has set and it's getting dark. Uh, here and there, but the act of kindness really light up my day. I couldn't ask for more. Oh, okay. And then when did you go back to the uh, uh, yeah. Nice. Have you been to Bump before? No, it's our first time. Yeah. It's so crazy. Yeah. We, we went. A while. Yeah. 2007. Two, 2008. Oh, we went to Bump. Yeah, yeah, before we lived in Canada. <laughs> uh, so really? while we were still in England, we came oh. we visited Bump and it was so beautiful and nice. Then you have uh, to move here like, yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. Two, about <laughs> ten, 10 years yeah, ago yeah, we yeah. moved here. Yeah. 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 Well, I, only because you said you were going to do the race. I yeah. Thought, oh, maybe you live here. No, uh, I didn't no, know. Yeah, no, no. Come over the world. Come over the world. Thank you so much for helping oh, us. Yeah. Nice to yeah. meet you. So yeah. grateful. Yeah. 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 yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Yeah. Yeah, I really hope it works. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, see, hi. Gặp kia nãy nhảy xuống vậy, tùm cái ghe đi rồi. Me and my friends are waiting in line. The store will lit up, so we came back to the village to spend the rest of our time browsing around and ended up queuing for a sweet treat The store at that time is very crowded, but the staffs are very friendly even they are in the peak hour of serving. And there has a lot of flavor of ice cream. I tried the peach one and uh, Eric tried the cookies one. So our one day trip to Whistler is come to an end. I know the vlog that I did is quite short and I didn't try to squeeze in a lot of footage and events but I hope that you guys still like it and thank you for watching I will see you guys in the next vlog bye bye